Hey everybody, Tony here. Um, so I want to do something a little bit different today because I, I think that there are a lot of merchants that have these questions and are curious about what's going on. Um, but this is all about our free Google shopping listings. And I just wanted to go through a quick rundown of uh, some of the differences between ads, the free listings, and even what you might note with uh, shopping actions or a buy on Google experience, right? So I, I'm, right now I'm just on Google and I searched ping pong tables, right? Um, as you can see, there are a couple different results. Obviously you're gonna get your organic results or even your paid text ads below the fold. Uh, shopping ads tend to appear and you'll note that it's marked by a sponsored tag right here. And you can actually scroll over and under, you can actually you know open up a support article from Google to kind of explain what these are. Um, but as you can see, the shopping ads tend to appear above the fold. They can even appear across the top as a carousel. In this example, uh, they're appearing on the right side and they take up this good portion here. There's also uh, like a rich snippets result as well. Um, but the free product listings are kind of, um, they're unique because uh, with the announcement that Google made, the free listings really are part of now the shopping tab on Google. Um, so if I'm going to click through to the shopping tab, I can see the this this comparison shopping experience. I can actually see the same sponsored results at the top. Obviously, now you can see this carousel experience, and I can begin to scroll and see different uh, types of products. Um, and I'm going to point out that just below this are these free listings, right? And especially this is just for uh, these ping pong tables here. And I can, I'm, and I'm gonna, I'll change my search results so you can see a, a couple different uh, examples of this. But, um, and a lot of people have been asking, well, how do I tell the difference, right? Uh, first of all, ads, shopping ads through shopping campaigns and Google ads are always going to appear above the fold. And if you really wanted to know which ones are, you could just note that sponsored is indicating a paid listing. Um, whereas everything below that could be either a shopping actions or a buy on Google result or even just those free listings, right? So in this example, I can filter for buy on Google. So this is shopping actions. Now when I make that filter, it's, it's only showing me these results. Um, and now I can see they're all tagged with this buy on Google tag here. And this is from shopping actions as part of Google's marketplace solution. Um, now let me turn this on its tails a little bit and I'm gonna search uh, real quick here. I'm gonna search Nike sneakers, right? And obviously this changes a little bit here. But let's go back to the all tab. And here's a great example, because now I'm not getting any paid results uh, at all for this, at least at the top of the above the fold. So, uh, and Google, as a relevant engine, is gonna co constantly change uh, what shoppers see based on their intent uh, and even their behavior as a result. So if I have done this search before and I didn't search, I didn't actually click on any ads or do any uh, browsing through the uh, carousel for shopping ads, Google's not necessarily gonna display those ads against me because I may not be a intentful um, shopper, right? Uh, and I don't really online shop, I'm, it's not my thing, right? Uh, but here, here's another example. So this is a, a little bit different, but as you can see in this example, uh, the Nike sneakers shopping ads are still appearing at the top. And you'll note that there's even the annotations like free shipping, you see product ratings, um, you can, again, carousel and scroll through. There's more results for these products or more uh, merchants selling these products or more auctions for this uh, particular search query. It's a very broad query, right? Um, but it's very different also because now I can scroll down and I can, in the middle now, they got plugged in with these buy on Google results. Again, those are shopping actions. Um, and you can notice the tag once again, kind of gives you a little bit of a breakdown here, give me two results. And again, I can use any of these filtering elements on the left here. And this is really the big benefit for consumers. Um, and I think also for merchants, as uh, these free listings become more available, or if you're already doing them, uh, because now you can really understand how your free listings might show up. And as I begin to scroll down even further, Again, now I can land on these free listings. Uh, and you notice that it is not tagged with anything specific, just an about. Uh, and if I click on this about, you can actually read that items are ranked based on relevance to your search terms. And Google is not compensated for these clicks because these are your free listings. Um, so the lines are a little bit blurred, but the general scope of it is you're always going to see the same results. Um, maybe you might be missing the buy on Google experience, uh, but essentially, a shopping ad is always going to appear at the top 
And as we scroll down, we're always going to see our free listings all the way below. And there is reporting now on Merkin Central, so you can actually start to look at uh, not only charts based on the number of clicks that these products are getting at an aggregate level, uh, but also if you go into the performance uh, dashboard, um, or at least if you go into the product section of Merchant Center and you look at an individual product level, uh, it will show you the clicks on a individual product and they're marked as unpaid clicks, right? So um, I hope this adds a little bit of clarity. I hope people, uh, merchants, consumers, whoever might be watching this can understand like what these free product listings are, how they appear in Google, and uh, we are seeing results from these already. Many merchants are already receiving clicks from these. Uh, really the next thing, and the, something that our team is really trying to work on heavily is now how do merchants begin to uh, understand the, perform the true performance behind them? Are they generating any sales? Um, how can we utilize Google Analytics? Could we potentially uh, set up a completely separate product feed just for surfaces across Google? And, and again, there are going to be some, uh, you know, some learning curves throughout all of this for consumers, merchants, uh, marketers, everybody. Um, but additionally, I think this is a huge benefit for merchants. It's going to allow for more clicks and more impressions on products and that will cost nothing as far as getting traffic to them. Um, and one of the great things I also would say is that it's not necessarily about a direct click experience here because I might want to click on this particular Nike men's Air Max 90 um, essential shoes, right? I might want to click on this. And then if I get to this website and I find that there are more products or one product in particular that I want and not necessarily this one, this product could potentially sell another product, uh, something we call synergy sales or it actually could improve the AOV or the average order value or the number of items in a cart that are added. Uh, because let's say I find this shoe and I find three other sneakers that I'm, I'm dying to get. Um, you've essentially paid nothing to get traffic to this product and potentially you have uh, a much higher return. Um, and essentially you're still looking at a 100% return on, on, on nothing essentially. Um, but um, it's definitely going to be. Uh, an interesting ride, understanding how these results work, uh, seeing what kind of performance we're going to get out of them. Uh, and we're constantly monitoring and looking for opportunities to help merchants grow on this fund. Um, so again, thank you very much, everybody. If you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to us. You can leave some comments in this video uh, if as well. If you want, I'm going to put some links in uh, here from two blog articles that we wrote up on this. Um, just essentially going over the initial announcement and then also uh, kind of like a, a uh, a re-emphasizing uh, of, of what I'm talking about here, the experience that you're going to see with these free listings, where they appear, and some of the reporting metrics and data that you can find in Merchant Center. All right, everybody, y'all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. And once again, stay healthy, stay safe, remain informed. Let's stop the spread of COVID-19. Things are going great. We're seeing curves flattening. Uh, we're talking about reopening the uh, parts of the country. Um, and I'm really hopeful for everything that's going on. I wish everybody all the best. Uh, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates and know we're going to post new videos. All right, everybody, have a good one.